Now that you're more comfortable using conditionals, let's try using them in your big game. In order to get the player sprite to respond to the keyboard, we'll need to use a conditional to check which key was pressed and then move either up or down. Each key on your keyboard sends a unique number called a key code to your computer. The update player function will take in that key code as well as the player's current Y coordinate and return a new Y coordinate that is either greater or less than the previous, depending on the key pressed. If you want to use the arrow keys to move your player, then you'll need to check for key code 38 for the up arrow and key code 40 for the down arrow. If you want to use different keys for your game, check the key code reference sheet in your student workbook.